Bacon! Ooh, that's steamy stuff. Thank you for tuning in to a very special episode today. I will be making a breakfast meal for you guys, inspired by a friend of mine who's been watching my videos forever. And today we are making a frittata with a little bit of green pepper, red pepper, bacon, cheese, some really, really good stuff. Uh, a long time viewer of Nikki and Arts, his name is Mark. Um, he's a wonderful, wonderful person. He sent us some gifts over the years. He's watched his videos for a really long time, very active on Twitter. And I would say he's just like, he's one of our super fans. And we really, really appreciate his support. And I also love to watch his videos. He does vlogs and he does cooking videos. And that's where I got the idea to do this for Toddy. He has like a roasted red pepper, Parmesan tops cheese, and everything. like his video is so good. Uh, chicken frittata and he does a dinner version, but I'll link it in the description below. Check it out. Please watch this video Tell him that John from Nikki and John sent you over to his video to check it out And you'll probably just fall in love with this guy because his personality is so wonderful And like I said, he's just a, a really has supported us for a really long time. I really appreciate that So I'm very very excited to make this recipe of his called an egg frittata I'm not gonna do exactly what he did in his video because like I said he did a dinner version and I'll be doing a breakfast version But let's go ahead and get started and I am going to do a four egg frittata. So our first step is to crack the eggs into the bowl. One of my favorite comments from uh, one of the past videos I was working with eggs was that I crack eggs like a barbarian. So thank you, whoever said that. So uh, didn't have the Neanderthal genes in me, I wouldn't be able to crack eggs like a barbarian. And we're going to go ahead and just whisk these eggs up. We want to make sure we beat them and get a lot of air in there so they're nice and fluffy. We want the, the frittata to fluff up and kind of be like a little piece of egg pie. I'm also gonna go ahead and chop up half of a red pepper and half of a green pepper, as well as my bacon. So right now, I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic powder to the eggs, a little salt, a little bit of pepper, and we'll add just a splash of milk and some hot sriracha sauce. That'll add just a little bit of spice for us. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna mix up all the spices. Right now, I'm preheating my pan on the stove. It's warming up to a medium heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add all my vegetables right into the eggs, just like so. I also have a little bit of cayenne pepper and a little bit of cumin. Cumin, 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 whatever you wanna call it, uh, is a great spice. It actually activates the protein in the egg. So you can add that to your eggs and it'll make that protein uh, work a little bit harder once it's inside your body. So we're gonna add a little bit of butter to the pan. As you can see, that pan is smoking hot. So it's time to add our egg into the pan. As Mark said in his video, if we were making scrambled eggs, we'd go ahead, we'd mix this up. But since we're not doing that, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add just a little bit of cheese to the top layer. Let it sit. We're gonna add all of our bacon bits, evenly distribute those throughout the Furtada, so it's topped with bacon crunchy goodness. And just a little bit more cheese for good measure. We're gonna let this cook for just a few minutes until the sides of the frittata, the side of the egg against the pan right here, starts to bubble. When that starts to bubble, we're gonna take the pan off of the stove and we're gonna insert it right into our hot oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees. The edge of the frittata is just starting to bubble all around the edge here, slowly but surely all the way around. So I'll give it about another 30 seconds until the whole thing is completely bubbling and then it's gonna go right into the oven, pan and all. Remember, use an oven safe pan with a metal handle. Here we go, into the oven, in the pan, 350 degrees, and we're gonna set our timer for eight minutes and we're gonna check it. All right guys, so uh, it actually took about Oh, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes to make this, but make sure you use a oven mitt to get this pan out because it is hot. And here is our fun little product. You might need to shake it around just a little bit, but it should slide right out of the pan because of the butter that we used in the bottom. But man, not only does that look absolutely delicious, but it smells wonderful. We're just gonna take a knife and we're gonna cut a few pieces for Nikki. Iris and myself. And just like that, you have an egg frittata for breakfast. A slice of frittata for myself and a slice of frittata for Nikki. 
it's hot, you might want to let it cool off for just a few minutes before you take your first bite. You can serve this with salsa, ketchup, ranch, I mean any type of dipping sauce that you like to dip your food in will probably go very good with this. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm. Mm. That is hot, but that is so good. Oh man. Mark wasn't kidding when he said that this was one of the best ways to eat eggs. And just a side note, I said 10 minutes, but it took about 15, so make sure that when your frittata is in the oven, you look at it, you get a little shake, and if the top still kind of moves around and it's liquid, then it still needs time to cook. But once you get, it's a solid and it kind of jiggles and you don't see any liquid, it'll be done. One of my favorite parts about Mark's video, by the way, which you guys should go check out, so the link is in the description below. I'll try to put an annotation in too. But he does the same thing that I do when I make food and I taste it, he like, he tries it, and he appreciates how good it tastes. So his videos, he's like, mmm, ah, oh. like, I'm the same way. I think it's really funny. But, mm, 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 mm. That is so good. And it's a relatively healthy meal. Well, that's today's episode of Cooking with John, how to make a egg frittata inspired by my friend Mark. I really hope you appreciated the video. Nikki's not camera ready, as she says, so she's not going to take a taste today, but we're going to eat this for breakfast. It's absolutely delicious, and I appreciate you guys watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for future cooking videos, and we'll see you next time with more cooking from me, John.